Hello everyone and welcome to another iMindMap 10 tutorial, this time about child maps. Now child maps aren't just mind maps for children, they are mind maps that you can create using the branch within a mind map to expand on your ideas further than the topic of the original mind map permits. To do that we right click on a branch, head down to create a child map and that will create a new file containing a new central idea with the topic of the branch. You can navigate back to the original using the little paper clip because the file has been added to the branch as an attachment, which you'll be able to see on the right hand side of the screen when we go and click on the attach panel. There it is, childmaps main.imx, that's the source file, and then childmaps main expand that is the child. You can even see here the new file has been created next to the original map. So it's not just another window or uh, a different area of the canvas. It's an entirely new map that's created from a branch within the parent map. And these can go on for as long as you like. You can create multiple children within one map. You can create a child map within a child map within a child map. And that can just go on for as long as you have new and different topics to talk about. There's no restriction on that at all. Uh, and you can just continue using the attachments clip to move between your maps and continue creating new children and new ideas that span off from those like so. Now, when working from a full map, child maps have extra functionality. So you see this map is quite full and the preparation area of the map is quite dense. There's a lot going on here. So we want to remove that from this map. If you create a child map from that branch, iMindMap10 will ask if you want to remove those descendants from the parent. We're going to go ahead and click yes. And what this will actually do in the original map is remove them, replace them with the little paper clip that we can use to navigate back to the child map whenever we want to think about that area of the map. This allows you to declutter maps that are getting busy or if you have a lot of ideas for an area that you don't really want to focus on, you can turn them into child maps. It's not to be mistaken, however, with converting to a central idea. That's a different tool. What this will do is, very similarly to child maps, it'll create a central idea from your branch but they'll be within the same canvas. It'll all be within one file. The advantage of this is you can see them both at the same time, but the advantage of child maps is that they all link together so you can focus on one thing at a time. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, guys. I'll see you next time.